Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our uh, Q series and in this video we are going to learn about uh, Q reversal alright. So by the name uh, Q reversal you must have understood what the question requires but let's uh, read the question description once. So it, uh, it states that given a Q contains n elements the task is to reverse the Q alright. The task is to complete the function rev that reverses that reverses the n elements of the Q alright. Now suppose this is our queue. Okay, the queue looks uh, 4, 3, 1, 10, 2, 6. And after reversal, it should look 6, 2, 10, 1, 3, 4. Alright, let's look at another example. Suppose our initial queue is uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, and our reverse queue should look like 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So there are basically two methods uh, to solve this question. One is the iterative one, and uh, another one is um, recursive one. Alright. So first let's talk about the iterator solution. Okay. So let's jump to a whiteboard and let's see how we can do the iterator one. Okay. Okay, suppose we take the first input 4, 3, 1, 10, 2, 6. Alright. So it is 4, 3, 1, 10, 2, 6. This is our Q. Alright. So 4 is our first element, so this would be removed first. 3 is our second element, this would be removed second and so on. So we have to uh, reverse this thing. So what we can do in our uh, iterative solution is we can take this Q and put it in a stack. Alright, we'll have a stack. So initially I have 4, so I'll remove 4 from here right then I have 3 so 3 would be inserted somewhat here then I'll remove 1 and insert it here then I'll add 10 we'll remove it from here then I'll have 2 here move the 2 here now the only element left is 6. So I'll remove the 6 as well. Alright. So this is our stack which is of size n. Now I'll uh, what does our stack says? Last in, first out. So now one by one we'll start emptying the stack in our queue. So first we remove 6. 6 will come here. Now we'll remove 2 2 would come here now we'll remove 10 as well 10 will come here uh, we'll remove 1 as well 1 will come here we'll remove 3 3 would come here and in the end we'll remove 4 would come here yeah. so this is the reverse of our uh, given queue so let's try and implement this uh, in our code okay all right let's have our stack right we'll say while queue while not queue dot empty that means while queue is not empty what we are going to do is we are simply going to push queue stop in the stack and remove the top okay now i'll simply say while not s is empty i am simply going to have queue dot push this dot top and I'll simply pop it okay and in the end I'm simply going to return Q hopefully this should work okay this is going to be Q dot friend right if you remember we use Q dot friend 
Okay, we got our expected output. Let's try and submit this code. This should work. Right. All right, it's working. Okay. Now the question is, uh, we talked about the iterator solution. Now let's talk about the uh, recursive solution as well. All right. So uh, let's try and remove this thing. Let's try and do it on another code. That is four. Three, two, one. Right. Now, can we break this problem in sub problems? Hmm. Okay. So, what does that mean here is, uh, okay, what is the first element here? Four. Right. So, I can say if I do 4, I take out the 4, I reverse the rest of the queue and insert 4 in the end, right? That would result in my answer. Similarly, if I take out 3, I'll reverse the remaining that is 2 comma 1 and I'll end add 3 to the end right so that means what we are breaking the problem into sub problems which we do in recursion okay so let's try and uh, code this thing okay so uh, one thing which we are going to do is we are going to say uh, func right, q we are going to create a recursive function uh, void rev let's have q and it's passed by reference okay what would be the end case like what would be the base case if there would be no elements if there would be no elements we'll simply return now what i'm going to do i'm going to take out the top element okay i'm going to pop it i'm going to call a reverse for the queue for the remaining part and i simply uh, add the element in the end that sounds right. Yes, it would again be sent. Right. So this is uh, what I'm doing. I took out the four. I reversed the rest of the part and added four to the end. That is the required thing. Let's try and compile this. Okay. Okay, we name the same functions. Let's have it differently, right? Yeah. So this reverse and this reverse same. Okay. And this is going to be reverse. And there was a minor errors here. Let's hope there was not a big problem yeah okay so we're getting the correct output all right let's try to submit it now it will work hopefully all right it's working problem solved okay so in this thing we use the internal stack which is called the recursion stack we'll talk more about it in our uh, uh, when we would start recursion series but unless but until then just remember whenever we call recursion we use a recursion stack which is basically the internal stack of our memory so it would also take a uh, space of on and the time complexity would also be big o of n all right so i hope uh, you liked the video understood it and thank you for watching and we'll do one more problem based on q and then we'll move forward
Okay. So stay tuned. Thank you.